Hi everybody, welcome to lesson number one, Intermediate Tutorials for Microsoft Word. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to insert headers and footers, insert watermarks, change the page colors, and insert page numbers. If you take a look at my screen, this is another example of what I use in my first grade classroom. Um, this is something that I use for a theme called Me on the Map. It's the beginning um, of, a, of many pages that I use in a class book that we create. Uh, this is just showing you just a few of the pages to show you how to insert a header, footer, page border, and things like that. So if we take a look, notice that I have my page borders, my clip art, my fonts are changed. So we're taking what we learned in our last tutorial and we're adding to this tutorial. You're going to also see that at the top of each page it says me on the map. That is something that once we put in, that's called the header. Once we type it once, it appears on every page. The same thing's going to happen with a footer. Once we type in our footer, whether it be page numbers, whether it be the, our name, whether it be both, it appears on every page. And this is a tool that saves us from having to type or create this on every single page. So if I'm going to go ahead and start on a brand new page and we're going to work from here, I've already added my page border and I found my clip art to save us a little bit of time. So I'm going to try to recreate my worksheet as quickly as possible. And you can go ahead and follow along with me just to see what I'm doing. Okay, I am right now making the lines for my students to write. And I do the same thing I do when I am changing font or text, I highlight it and I can change the size up here. And now because I want to use these lines again and again, I'm going to do control C for copy and I'm going to keep pasting them under each clip art picture since that is, can I get them all? Yes, that is what we're going to um, be using. So now that I've done this, I want to add my directions. So I'm going to use this direction and copy them and I'm going to paste and I can change the size and the font and the color to be whatever I'd like. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Now that I've done that, I'm going to add what I call my header. In order to do that, we go to insert header and I'm going to find a blank header. There are options. You can do an alphabet header, a blank header with three different columns. I'm going to stay simple. And where it says type text, I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to hit enter. There are two ways you can create a header. You can either type, and my title of this is me on the map, and you can highlight this. If I go back to home, I can do bold. I can change the font. I can change the size to make it bigger or smaller. I can underline it. I can center it. And there we have my header. What I can also do is I can get rid of my typing and I can insert word art. Word art is a fancier way of than just typing. It can be me on the map. And I'm going to make this just a little bit longer and a little bit smaller and drag it up to fit in the top of my screen. Now, if I take a look, it looks like it's a little bit faded. When I go to the print preview screen, it comes out nice and bold. So you will always be able to see um, it looks faded because it's it's different layers of your uh, document. But once it's ready to print, it all comes out the same. So if I go back to home, I have my header. And if I scroll down, I see that my header is now on the second page as well. So now I have, and, and if I wanted to make a third page, Notice there's my header again, and I also have my border that never, ever changes. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to add page numbers. If you go to insert and you go to page number, and I'm going to insert a page number at the bottom of my page, and I'm going to insert it in the right corner. There we go. Notice that the numbers appear in order, page one, page two, and page three. And you see that um, right above the number is a dotted line that says footer. That means, again, if you wanted to type something in the footer, just like you do a header, and you want it to appear on every page, in this case it's our page number, you can go ahead and type. If you wanted to put uh, a name line for e your student to write their name on each page, 
this would be the place to do it. If you wanted to add a page number, this is the place to do it. Now, once I've um, added those things, there's a little X up here that says close the header and footer. You can double click inside the document or you can click the X and it gets rid of the header and footer. And so it's there in the background, but you can go ahead and type about your business on your worksheet. The next thing I want to do is show you how to insert a water a watermark. Now this is optional. This is not something that I would necessarily do on every single worksheet or every single presentation that I would use in the classroom, but it's it's a skill that we can kind of incorporate into this type of document so you can see how to use it. If we were to go to insert and we were to go to I'm sorry, if we were going to page layout and we went to watermark you have options. You can have a watermark that has text and you can change the text to be anything you want. If you wanted your text to say me on the map in the background, it could say that. Oftentimes you'll see a watermark on something that is a sample. If you look on the internet for a worksheet and somebody's created it with copyright um, to it, they're not going to have it available for us to copy. It'll say do not copy or you know copyrighted or confidential or do not copy. We're going to go to custom watermark. Custom watermark allows you to find a picture off the internet. It allows you to type in whatever you'd like to type. I've already found a picture on the internet. So what I've done is if I go to the internet images and I typed map of the world, I have found this image which I've saved onto my desktop. I've already done that. So I'm going to go back into my page layout watermark and I'm going to go to picture and I'm going to go to select picture and here it is my world map this is what it will look like if I click insert and I take away the washout I want to be able to show you what it will look like click close there's my watermark if I go to print preview that's what would either show up on my projector or that is something that the students would have on their own worksheet it's your choice that is how I create a watermark. If I go back to page layout and I want my watermark to be washed out, maybe just a little bit of a fade, apply. Okay, and if I go to print preview, it's there. It's just very, very faded. Perhaps that's something you would want to do, just have a faded watermark in the background. Finally, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to change the page color. If we go to page layout and we go to page color, we have options. We can experiment and we can choose all different types of colors. And if you just scroll across each color, you can see what it looks like. Okay, and notice that where the text is in the watermark, that's not going to change color. That's going to stay white. I could also go to a fill effects. And maybe perhaps I want to choose two colors. Maybe I want to choose a blue and I want to choose a green since I'm working with the map. I could change my shading styles. Okay, I can change it horizontal, vertical, diagonal. I can turn it into a pattern of some sort if I wanted. And I can change the colors here. I could also go to a texture and I can have the background be these different types of marbles or watercolors or whatever you'd like. I'm going to stick with green and blue. And there you have a background color. What I do have to warn you is if you do add a background color, notice in print preview it does not come up with a color. What I suggest you use for a page color is if you're projecting this up on your screen, um, a back to school night agenda or some notes for the students or something eye catching for them that you want to pop out. This would be a great way to use a background color just like in PowerPoint. A lot of what Microsoft Word has PowerPoint is the same. However, if you're printing it will only print white. So just be cautious of that when you're designing your worksheet. This is white. If I want to take away my watermark, I can click remove watermark. And now we're back to having a book that has just my colors. Print preview, colors are gone. So in change, this is basically how we add a header, a footer, page numbers, change the background colors, and add a watermark. Please go ahead and do something uh, that you could utilize in your own classroom. Upload it to the Google site. And we look forward to having you in our next tutorial. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye-bye.